Hi everyone, Trisha Fuller with the Canadian Hypnosis Academy and Hypnosis for Health and Happiness. I'm just talking to you guys today about the different steps that you can take to create lasting change. So we're going to consider these like seven easy steps, like a recipe, steps that you follow in order, in order for you to create the change that you want. So let's use the example of stopping smoking. Um, you're going to pick your own thing, but I'm just using this as an example so that you can see how the strategy can be really easy for you. So that's your problem area that you want to fix. Now, underneath that, list all the reasons that have kept you holding on to that problem. So for example, if a person's trying to quit smoking, they might have been using it as a way to relieve stress. They might have been using smoking as a reason to have a break. They might have been using smoking as a reason to escape. These are all valid reasons to their nervous system. So beside each one of the reasons why you've held on to the problem for so long, go ahead and list maybe, let's just say three creative options of things that you could do instead to relieve stress, to escape, or to relieve boredom. So an example of this is if a person is stressed and they needed to figure out a new way, one of the three creative solutions could be abdominal breathing. Uh, another one could be going for a walk. And another one could be booking a massage. Those are three creative options of things that they could do to help them relieve the stress, okay? And you're gonna list all the things that you've done in the past that have, held, that have helped you hold on to that problem and then you're going to put those three creative options beside each of those old problems, okay? After that, you're going to set reasonable goals. So for some people, a reasonable goal would be um, seeing themselves finished smoking for a year. Now, when they've been smoking a pack a day, that seems like a really big jump to go from one side of not smoking at all to being smoke-free for a year. So that's your big long-term goal. If you're gonna work yourself backwards from that, go ahead and think about incremental steps. So your big goal is a year, quit smoking, smoke-free. Maybe the one step back from that is six months, and a step back from that is three months, and a step back from that is like six weeks. Um, some people even need to go as far as like a reward or a system, a goal that they're chasing after being completed for a whole day, um, then three days, and then a week. Because the thought of thinking so far ahead is just too big for them, too big for their nervous system to wrap their head around. So if you were to go backwards from there, those are your reasonable goals. You set a big goal and you work your way backwards, okay? Your next step is to set out a plan or, and this is what I call the recipe. So steps that you can take. Now you've already created those by having all those options beside each of the reasons why you used to hold on to it for so long. So that is your now step-by-step -step process that you could take in order to achieve the steps on your recipe of roadmap or a roadmap, so to speak, of success. You're going to take each step and then slowly integrate those three new solutions for each of the reasons why you used to have the problem, okay? After you've succeeded and you've reached, say, your first goal, which was maybe being smoke-free for a week, they could then reward themselves. So obviously you're not rewarding yourself with the smoke, but you reward yourself with something that you weren't doing because you were wasting time, money, and energy on the smoking. For some people, this could be like a nice meal out. Other people, it could be um, booking a massage or a pedicure. Um, other people, it could be buying a new t-shirt. I'm not sure what it is for you, but you do wanna set up tangible rewards for yourself. Um, things that you can chase, something that you can dangle in front of your subconscious so that you can actually achieve the goals that you want. So in essence, you are becoming the parent to your subconscious or the parent to yourself. So you would be baiting yourself in order to succeed. You are first telling yourself, I need to do this, I need to do this, and I need to do this. And once I do that, then this is the reward that I get. And you do that for each one of your rewards. And this allows you to have something to chase as a, um, a viable substitute 
to the problem that you used to have or the thing that you're trying to get eliminate. Um, after you've rewarded yourself, you want to reevaluate your plan and reassess whether things need to be changed. Okay. So those are the seven quick steps. And again, that was pick the problem area, recap why the problem has existed for so long. Three, set reasonable goals. Four, sketch a plan or a recipe of steps to take. Then you're going to do the plan. Then you're going to reward yourself for each incremental goal. And then you're going to check your progress as needed. So I hope that's been informational for you. I hope that you set your plan in action. Uh, if you need some help with this or you'd like to discover more creative solutions, go ahead and give us a call at 403-33-HYPNO. Again, that's 403-334-9766. We do hypnosis in Red Deer as well as Camrose and serving clients online across Canada and the US. And you can reach out as well at, on email at hypnosisab at gmail.com. I look forward to talking to you guys. We can always schedule a free screening to see if hypnosis is right for you. Or you can check out the website hypnosisforhealthandhappiness.ca. Have an amazing day. I hope this helps you create your easy strategy for success.